keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up Just the sum of every high and every low Pay attention Has anybody ever told you that to pay attention? I remember I was preaching at Lenside and there was a fella sitting at the end of the pew And he was holding his Bible over the end of the pew and all of a sudden he dropped his Bible he was dead asleep. And you know what I said during that sermon? I stopped and I said, you need to pay attention. You know, do we really pay attention to what's going on around us? There's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world. There's a lot of bad stuff happening in, in the community, in the church. And we usually pay attention to the bad stuff. Uh, news, bad news, that always catches our attention. But if we pay attention, we will see, we will hear that there are good things happening in our community, in our world, in our church. So often we focus upon the bad and there's good things that is happening. We need to pay attention. I try to tell good stories. When I say good, I don't mean that they're good. I mean that good things are in those stories. I try to tell stories about Jesus and how he has affected my life. And when you talk about Jesus, it's always a good story. That is, if you're telling the truth. Sometimes uh, I talk about people in the congregation, not often, but I will today because there are good things happening around us. And sometimes we don't pay attention. There are good stories out there if we pay attention. So, pay attention. Jesus, after he was baptized, the Spirit led him into the desert to be tempted. There he was tempted for 40 days and 40 nights, and he never fell to any temptation. You know, so often what we do, we fall to temptation, we compromise. Jesus never compromised. He, he withheld from any temptation. The Bible says that he experienced all temptation, yet there was no sin in him. Pay attention. Some of the things that we have experienced and some of the things that we have fallen to, Jesus went through and he did that for us. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and he was tempted by the devil, the most evil thing in the world. And it was a powerful temptation. But pay attention. He never fell to any temptation. And he comes out of the desert ready to start his mission. Now that's a good story. That's a good story for us because he withheld from temptation, from all of our temptation. That's a good story. He was led to his hometown. He went back to his hometown and there he enters a synagogue and he walks to the front of the synagogue and he opens the scripture to the passage in Isaiah where the spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach good news to the poor, to preach release to the captives, to preach relief to all the people that are suffering. That is good news. And as he is preaching, the people said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that not Joseph's boy? Is his brothers and his sisters not here in our midst? 
And you know what? They pushed him out of the synagogue to a cliff and there was going to push him off of the cliff. But the scripture says, Jesus passed right through it. Is that not good news? Is that not a good story? That he, that he continued his mission, teaching and preaching and serving the poor and healing people. Is that not a good story? Is that not the greatest story ever told? Pay attention. Even in our world, uh, there are things that are happening that are good. Even within our church, there are things that are happening that are good. If we pay attention and we see and we listen and we tell those stories. When I first came here, I didn't know anybody. Didn't know anybody. And right when I came here, a fella come to me and he said, would you help me do something? I said, yes. He said, will you help me spread the ashes of my friend? And I said, sure. And we had a little service and we, we, we spread his friend's ashes. And you know, after that, I began to, to think and ask questions, what, what happened? And this, this fellow within our midst, took this homeless person in that was sick, that was dying, that had a number of problems. He took him into his home and he took care of him. He cared for him. Pay attention. What do you think Jesus would think of that? I would think that he would say, this is good. This is how we should be. But how many of us would do that? Oh, we'd come up with an alternate plan. But no, no, no. This person took him into his home and cared for him until he died. <laughs> this person had two dogs. And the dog's name was Bruce and Betty. And that was a gift to this, this friend of mine. Many of you know who this is. It's a wonderful story. It is a story worth telling. If we pay attention, we will see these acts of, of, of kindness, these acts of the gospel before our very eyes. If we pay attention, what's going on around us? You know what? Each and every one of us is a story. We are a story. And there are people that are paying attention. And someday, guess what? They will tell our story. If you have Jesus in your heart, if you follow Jesus, this will be a good story. For, so from this day forth, as you go about everyday life, pay attention to what's happening around you. And I guarantee you'll see some good stories, some acts of kindness and forgiveness that come from the very throne of God. I hope you have paid attention. Amen.